With God, I can do all things. But with God and you, and the people who you can interest, by the grace of God, we're going to cover the world. What is my task? To get the gospel around the world in the shortest possible time to every man and woman and boy and girl. I ponder and pray in the stillness, I dream as a dreamer of dreams. A steepled church stands before me, a church with open doors. Within it I see the preacher stand, hear his voice in earnest call. But tis the throng that flows through the street, outside that holds my anxious gaze. What is my task? First of all, my task is to be pleasing to Christ. To be empty of self and be filled with himself. To be filled with the Holy Spirit, to be led by the Holy Spirit. It's for your good. You have no business being sick, every one of you should get well and get up and go to work, huh? Get up and go to work and earn some money and help send the gospel out. Amen. Lift up your heads, ye people, lift up your faces, too, open your mouths to sing his praise, and the rain will fall on you. We are all making a crown for Jesus out of these daily lives of ours, either a crown of golden, divine love, studded with gems of sacrifice and adoration, or a thorny crown, filled with the cruel briars of unbelief, or selfishness, and sin. I notice those who don't believe in uniting with the church or organization. I notice y'all use electric lights, that's organized. If it wasn't, you'd be electrocuted. Oh hope dazzling, radiant hope. What a change thou bringest to the hopeless brightening the darkened paths, and cheering the lonely way. If any man wills to be a Christian, he can be a Christian. If you go to hell, you go of your own accord. Even so today, though it means being despised and misunderstood, get alone in the wilderness of quiet and stillness before God. Seek his face till your soul is kindled with the flames of love from the burning bush blind eyes, unstop the deaf ears, and make the lame to walk. He used to show forth such mighty works, and even manifest them through his followers that the attention of the multitudes was arrested and gripped in such an irresistible way that thousands awake. Thou that sleepest, arise from the dead. The Lord still lives today. His power has never abated. His word has never changed. The things he did in Bible days, he still lives to do today. Not a burden is there he cannot bear nor a fetter. He cannot break, 